Welcome to The Harvest is Ready. I'm Stephen, and I'm glad to be with you again. Hey, today we've got an exciting experiment. You may be from a place or a country where your resources are not as sufficient. You look at those YouTube live streamers streaming, and you could only dream about it to do what they're doing and what they recommend. So this is part of the reason why I'm here as a ministry, because I do know the limitations that a lot of people have. And there are some things that you need to do to make it work, and you do have to reduce your quality and things like this. But with some little sacrifices, you can still have an excellent live stream and provide an excellent service online. So let's have a look at it. So here you can see here in my laptop here that I've got here, it says Celeron J3455, 1.5 gigahertz, and it's got four cores, and I've got eight gigs of RAM. So it's not much of a computer. This is actually a computer I bought um, via Taobao, which is like a Chinese wish.com type thing. Um, a little bit better than that because most of the supplies are pretty reputable and it's I've never really had any issue of faulty products and stuff. But I haven't gone down the role of buying cell phones or anything like that accordingly or tablets. But I have got this computer and it's been working fantastically. It's been going for a year now and I've been loving it. So now I'm going to try a little experiment and we're going to be using... OBS, OpenRP, uh, let's get my notes to make sure I've got this all right. We're going to be using a, a, a plugin called uh, DroidCam OBS for the um, phone. And we're also going to be um, using, Open, like I said, OpenRP and using lower thirds and things like that accordingly. And then live streaming that to YouTube. So let's see what we can do and see how it works. Okay. So first of all, I'm going to start with a brand new user. So I'm going to so go to my settings. Back on the screen. Sorry about that, I just get some things working with the mouse and things like that anyway. So what are we going to run through? So we've got a new login, we need to set up OBS, we need to set up OpenRP, and we need to set up Droid, DroidCam as well so we can use our camera. So let's go ahead and start setting things up. So let's start with um, configuring OBS. So let's see, we've got OBS here, so let's... Type in OBS, we can already install. Okay. So we can see here we've got the aspect ratio of 16.9, and we're doing 1024 by 576, which is about a DVD quality image. So it's not too bad, but it's not yeah, that great, but it's okay. And we're going to set the frame per seconds to 30. Okay, we don't need to go higher. And we want to keep the output and the base canvas the same so we do not do much transcoding at all. Okay, so we click apply and we go OK. Now, let, oh, we're still going to do some more setting changes. I should do that. So we've got the uh, video we've done. Then we're going to go to the output. Okay, the video bit rate, we don't want it that high. So at this, we can go down to. Uh, We'll try 1,500, okay. Uh, yep, the recordings can go there, same as stream. Okay, we don't want that high, the audio bit rate. We can go a bit higher. Oh no, 160 is fine, okay. So there we go, software encoding, apply. Okay, so 1,500 because we've got a lower stream. We should still get an okay quality stream. So let's make some, uh, we've done, we've basically done, done that. So let's minimize that. Oh, we've got to add the plugins. So I've already sort of set things up. So I'm going to, I'm going to bring a, my public folder up. And let's go to other documents and find my computer. It should come up on here. There was my public files. There we go. So we want these, so we want to copy those. <clears throat> hmm. So we want to open these and we want to drop these into the plugins area of OBS. So we'll open a new tab in our home folder. Put a new tab, home, uh, show hidden files, 
So we want to go to config. We're going to go to open LP. Uh, IB Studio, there we go. And we want to put in the plugins folder. There we go. Okay. Now if we open up, let's close open LP. Open IOBS, should I say? Linux browser, draw cam OBS. Okay, those are there. Oh, okay, everything's there, so that's okay. I don't know why this isn't twice, but here we go. Um, yeah, that won't be working right now, but we've got what we needed. We've got the browser. And we've got Droid Cam OBS. Those are the things that we need for OpenRP and for bringing our camera into it. Now, I would use my own web camera right now, but I'll show you my own web camera. It's not that great, okay? But it's there. You can always use your own inbuilt wood camera from the computer, which is fine. But as you can see, you sort of look like you're looking up your nose, which yes. I don't like. Okay. Anyway. So well, let's delete that. Okay. So we're going to create some scenes in here. But for, before we do that, I want to open up OpenRP and I want to update the stage views for that. So let's get OpenRP up and running. Language, English, two Englishes. I don't know why. Okay, I don't know which one is which. Next. Okay, we also need to make sure we allow remote access into this one. So we go here, do we want some songs? Yeah, so we can get working pretty quickly. Uh, sample Bibles, why not? Uh, let's do King James and, huh. yeah, just King James will be fine. Okay, uh, themes, why not? Let's download them all. No, let's just download one. Let's just download the blue burst. Yeah, fickle my. Okay, we're gonna change it a bit bit sooner, but let's detect our two screens. So yeah, there we go. So just, we're waiting for OpenRP to set up right now. Okay. So we need to update our themes because we need to create one for our uh, lower third and one for our stage three. So we're going to duplicate uh, what are we going to do uh, copy theme okay and this one is going to be um, blue list lower 
Okay. And we're going to copy this one. So let's edit the theme. Don't need an image. I like comforter. Okay, color is white. Make it bold. Size will be about 45. Line spacing, three points. Uh, yeah, put a drop shadow on there. That's fine. Next. Foot area that can lift it out. Horizontal line, center, middle, transitions. Yeah, for the theme, why not? And uh, this should be okay. Yeah, well, it was still a little bit too big, so we need to we need to restrict the number of lines on here to uh, two or three. So. So they go back to the font. So that probably needs to be about 60. Okay. So let's get the X and Y position right. Uh, So the height is only going to be maybe 300 and the Y position is going to be uh, now 200. Width can be basically the full width, which is a 1080. Uh, yeah, this is a 1080 screen at the moment, so that means 1920, so almost 1500 or 1600. So therefore. Three lines, so that's good. And Y position needs to be about 300. I like that. It's nicely balanced that, so if you've used that for the live service, you can always use that for the live service. But anyway, let's see. We'll keep going with that one, so that's good. So now, now we wanted to update the Bible. Font and then do comforter again. Sixty point. No, we want to do forty-five points. Okay, line spacing three points. Shadow yes. Next. Next. Transitions. Why not? Next. I'm going to use the default peasant, so this is going to be 1,600. Next position is going to be 200. Y position is going to be 300. And the height is going to be... Oh, that's okay. Oh.
Okay, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So a little bit, oh, maybe my width needs to be changed. My width's right, so my font needs to change. Oh, six is okay. Oh, let me change my font. Make it 40. One, two, three, four, five. So it's not the font, it is my height. So I'll change it to 45 again. Height can be 850. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, let's give that a try and we'll put position Y being make that seven seven eighty and that be the Y position will be one fifty. Okay, there we go. Well, let's check on the Bibles. Uh, my favorite, Romans 3, 23. Let's put that over there. Oh, okay. Okay. Let's do this, Romans 3. Do the whole lot. Okay, let's do the settings, Bibles, Continuous, Bible 3, Bible Best, okay. Let's just remove that and remove that and put a new thing in the service. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Perfect. Okay, so I've got that just right. Okay, so now let's do the settings one more time. We need to update it because we're only using one screen. Okay, so I'm going to just override the display positions and I'm going to put it directly above. So Y is going to be negative 1080, negative, home, 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 negative. Okay. Oh, why is it all dark? Let me close that. I'm going to set this as default and make sure that 
that's set to that. There we go. Okay. Okay. Now let's check that. Let's go to our browser. And if we go to settings, oh, let's bring that down here. Configure OpenRP into remote. We should have in here. Oh, we haven't done that yet. Okay. No, we can just do the main one anyway. We need to add our th we need to add our new stage views, don't we? There we go. Good. Okay. So now let's put our stage views in so we can practice those. So we go to Tools, Open Data Folder. Then we want to put all the stages into this folder. So let's go to, oh, okay, where are we? Uh, copy that into there. Okay, those are those done. So now in the stages, we've got all of these. So if I go to the song now and do lower third, oops. There we go. We've got the song in there. Let's just so that we can see it. There we go. Getting into a video background with the same thing. There we go. So that's open RP set up. So let's put a Bible in here. Okay, uh, let's do the Romans 3, Romans 3 again, <clears throat> and then we can test those out. Okay, so now we've got those. We can now, let's go to another workspace and get OBS up and running. Now we want to create a new scene. We're going to create a main scene. So now it's time to get my phone up and running. So I'm going to get my phone here. I've already installed DroidCam OBS. So that's all up and running. Um, so I just need to get that running on here. And now I'm not going to do it over Wi-Fi. Let me get my USB cable, which was where? Where was my USB cable? Uh, oh, here it is. Let me plug this into here. Into my computer. Oh, sorry about this. And let me get a stand. Where is my stand? Can I put it over here? Oh, yes, I do. Here it is here. So let me get that all hooked up here.
we're going to create a generic source. This is just going to be a background scene. So we're going to create a uh, we're going to audio capture device. So we're going to audio capture input. Um, you can plug in a mute. I'm just kind of yeah. I'm going to have to figure that. When I do the live stream, I probably will. Droid Cam OBS, I put that in here. Add new, okay. Let's see, okay to the fingerprint. And then on my list. Ah, there we go, Redmi 6. And then I wanna enable audio. And yeah, if I've got that, I might as well do that. There we go. Here you go. There's my little camera. Just like that. Okay. Want to sync audio and video video. So we're doing and if you've got more than one on your network or on the wireless, I suggest you day de deactivate when you're not showing and that way you can have multiple sources inside your um, OBS and you won't affect your Wi-Fi stream. So yeah, so there we go. I'm just going to make that this big. Okay, we're going to adjust it so that I am in the particular picture. Okay. Let's click to my USB, which is good. I'm just going to crop that out a bit. Okay, let's apply a chroma key. Okay, here we go. There's my audio. Good job. Test, test, test. Oh, my arguments working well. Wonderful. Okay. Good morning. And I can see it nice and clear. I like it. Okay. Uh, type blue. Similarity, not so similar. Okay, that will do. Wow, there we are. Okay, so I need to put a nice background in there. Uh, let's just put a color source. Like I can say, I'm just doing it really, really basic. There we go. I'm just doing a basic thing here. Now, what do we also want to do? We want to be able to um, put some overlay. Oh, let's rename this. Uh, full cam. Okay. So what do we want in here? We want, I'm gonna duplicate this one. Okay, and I want to call this um, lower thirds. Oh. Okay. 
Okay. So I'm going to add that. I'm going to add a browser source and open RP. So there you have it. I'm sorry I cut off at the end, um, but um, my microphone cut out at that particular point in time. Now you can see that what we've successfully done is we've configured OBS, we've con configured OpenLP. In OBS we added the plugins, Linux browser source, and the OBS cam plugins. I'll put the links in the description below so you can figure those out. If you're already running Windows and Mac, I'm pretty sure Windows has the browser source <laughs> inbuilt. But I put the links to the OBS uh, o camo droid cam OBS links down below in the links below and you can see how that is open RP we added the stage views and we configured open RP accordingly to display just two or three lines or more lines for the Bible verse so with that done we're ready to test the live stream so stay tuned the live stream should start at 930 okay there we go